on second thought, you know, I wanted to try something more funny, so uh, something more fun. Um, I'm going to try to run down the mountain and record while keeping the camera as steady as possible. I don't think it'll be steady at all, but if it turns out just to be bizarre, just horrible, then, well, I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I kind of cheated a little bit, you know, I went down. The gazebo is still there though, you can, you can see it from here. Uh, but I'm going to start running from this point down and you can see how long it takes me. I'm going to try to get down in like 10 minutes, but if I don't, then well... I'll try to fast forward the video a little bit to make it more fun. <laughs> but here we go, I'm going to start running. Right now it's okay because it's flat ground. Um, I'll try to commentate too as I'm running. <laughs> but when, it, when you're going down here, that's very, you know, very actually, you need to be very careful. So I, I would not attempt this if, you're, if you've never been up these hike trails before. And even if you have with a guide, uh, don't do this. <laughs> don't be like me. This is not an example. Um, I've just learned how to slow, you know, slow myself down while going down. And I realized I should hide my shoes before going down. But whatever. I didn't do it. <laughs> Maybe I'll tie my shoes down here. Take a break. She's not really tying my shoes, it's more like tightening my shoes because it's one of those shoes that you can like twist and whatnot. Okay, ready again? I go down this tricky path here. This is definitely going to be my exercise for the day. I should have brought water. I'm definitely going to get some spring water. Whoa, I almost twisted my leg there. I don't know if you could have seen that. So I just like slow mo that in 360. So usually when you're walking or you're running down the mountain, you zigzag like this. I'm not trying to teach you so that you can actually try it yourself, but if you do find yourself running down a mountain, you can't stop. Try to. I can't even speak right now. <laughs> I just, okay, try to lengthen your steps by going diagonally. Um, of course, you just have to be careful even when you do that because. Because you can still, you know, run off the cliff or something. That's what I'm saying. Don't try this at home. Don't try this in any mountain. Unless you know where you're getting into. You know the trail. If you've done it before, we need to be expert. Crazy stuff like this can happen. And then if you're one to panic, then, oh my gosh, you probably will die. <laughs> Not an understatement. I could have killed myself. I slip there. Of course, even when you're falling, you know, there's there's procedures to follow too. Of course, you know, I'm not really wearing anything like arm guards or anything. So I could have I could have been I could have ended badly for me. Well, I think in this video, you could have seen me wiped out completely in full 360 glory. If I had a 4K camera or something, you could have seen in better detail. But I don't have one, unfortunately. And I don't think I'd be running down the mountain with one if I did, anyways. And I'm walking out because I need to catch my breath while talking. I'll fast forward this far. Yeah, a little bit. I, well, actually, I don't know how to fast forward a 360 video. I've been trying. It doesn't allow me. Maybe there's something up with Premiere or something. Anyways, oh, it's real. <laughs> okay, I think I kind of epically failed. Uh, my goal of actually trying to run down the mountain but you know if I got your hopes up made you excited for that little bit then you know I'm glad I did my part this is like the very steep part even if I tried to run down oh my gosh I can't imagine what would have happened See, even if even, I'm not even trying to run down right now but just because of the momentum of me going down I mean my body wants to go into a run so this is very dangerous. I want to take this video actually to show you how dangerous you can be when going down from a mountain. So even if you're challenging yourself to get up high in the mountain, you know, go up to the top of the mountain to you really have to be careful when you're going down. Don't run and you find yourself like you can run into a tree like that. You can hurt yourself. You know, you got to be very careful. Make sure you're equipped with the right boots and everything so that that won't happen to you. Oh my god. 
talking while running down and trying to control myself from that nervously breaking down in front of the camera is very difficult. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm getting my breath. I'm getting my breath. We're, we're, we're back. We're almost at the sign that says Kamran Tana I think I'll end the video over there. Just the rest of the, rest of the way isn't that exciting. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. So please be careful when you do come to Ormandong. Um, or you're ever hiking in any mountain or whatever. If the, if, the, if the slope is steep going up, it's going to be steep going down. So there's no alternative path for you to take then. Uh, you know, you have to think ahead of time and be able to prepare accordingly. Uh, you know, if you need equipment, if you need ropes, whatever, no shame. Just use what you need. Don't be like me. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. If you like what you've seen today and you want more safety measures or whatever this is, you know, then please comment below and subscribe. I'll see you later. <laughs>